what's going on everybody so today is a sunday i am off and we are actually going to be heading down to downtown area um a bunch of other uh, civics are come down well not uh, come down but they're local and uh some guy from the sixth gen the owner of the instagram page the sixth gen is coming down to shoot the cars and why not just come out and kick it so uh I'm gonna bring out the car, gonna go get some E85 and then meet up with uh, my friend David with the YEG, the one we did the uh, dingy headlights on. And then we're gonna go mob down to downtown and check out all the sick uh, cars, push the homies, and uh, yeah, just have a good time. Here's Tan's car, Jay's wing, Jay's exhaust, right hand drive. Cause you know why? It's free. It does have a K24 in it. Let's cut the hatch out. <laughs> Still running the Denji's. Is it cool if we park in there, man? Yeah, it's cool, man. Oh, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> We're right there in the red lane, anyways. <laughs> okay. It's chill. <laughs> this seat has all the optional goodies. Gather seats or speakers. They look so big for some damn reason. Ryan job also. Ringmasters. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, and we're almost at 20,000 subscribers, so thank you, everybody. We're almost, well, we're pretty much almost there, and hopefully by the time this video comes out, we're at 20,000, which is very shocking. I did not expect my channel to grow pretty pretty fast but i did say in the last video when i was installing spoon calipers that i was only using those o'reilly brake pads for just for that time so i can install it and then have work and all that and these came in the mail today these are the ebc green stuff and uh i think i paid 90 bucks for them uh and yeah we're gonna be putting these on today and then uh get ready getting rid of the o'reilly pads this is what you're gonna be using for the back of the brake pad. Oh shoot! 
All right, and same go with these ones. These brake pads, I'm gonna have to trim this and take off this clip. And this does have a like a brake coating on them when you buy them. So uh, the coating will go away after uh, you pretty much uh, break them in. Yeah, there's the EBC green stuff. I've never used these before. Normally I go towards Hawk pads and I just wanted to try these out. And yeah, so we're gonna put these on today. I just gotta trim these down and then we're gonna put these uh, little, little things on the back and trim it. The calipers. Also, thank you very much to Batanga or Mikey. He sent me these. Well, I bought these from him. He was, yeah, I pretty much saw him post these for sale and I was like, I kind of want them because I've always wanted them. And like how they uh, spelled that in Japan, height tension cord. So it's pretty much like high tension cord because they are spoon spark plug wires. And uh, yeah, they have a little grounding surface right there for the wires. So thank you very much, buddy. I'm gonna put these on. Probably not today. I'm gonna wait for my, all my other stuff to come in first before I even put these on. But I did order those. And besides this, if you guys have been following my Instagram, if you guys are following my Instagram, give my Instagram a follow and you guys will always see more newer updates compared to my YouTube because I do have to edit the videos and upload them and all that. Damn, Dr. Pepper's so good. But I did pick up a new bucket seat. Need some cleaning, but I have my friend John do that for me. And yeah, this is a Recaro SPG. Uh, let's see right there. Oh, wait, can you guys see that? Yeah, so Profi SPG, or also I'm just short and, or short name, just Recaro SPG. I've always wanted this seat, and I've always wanted the Recaro pole position, but the way uh, Recaro makes the sizing is very weird. And it's very hard for me to actually get a seat that fits me. And I am very skinny, but this seat fits me so perfect compared to my, well, the Buddy Club bucket that I'm using now, it fits really good too. But this seat fits, uh, it's, it's less cramped. Cause um, the other one was squeezing me and I don't know what size that is. I think that's the Japanese medium, the red one that's in my car. And also I wanted to get a new bucket seat because the, what is it? The red with the green paint didn't just didn't look good and I just wanted to pretty much like I just wanted to get rid of it. So I think I got a black seat now and it'll look a lot better in the car. So it just needs some cleaning. But besides that, uh, I bought the Suze. My homie up north from Downey was selling it. He actually dropped it off yesterday for me, so thank you very much, dude. Um, I was gonna go up there. But I got off work and then I was like, dude, can you deliver tonight? I really want it because I'm off tomorrow so I can install it tomorrow. He's like, all right. So he drove down two hours just to, just to deliver this to me. And yeah, so thank you very much, buddy. And then we'll go in the car very soon. But I'm going to do the brake pads first. And then we're going to be putting the seat to end probably. Well, maybe we'll think about it. And yeah, the new EBC green stuff are in on both sides now I'm just cleaning up the wheel I'm cleaning the inner bear of my wheels so I could uh yeah so just because it's dirty wash and wipe down like the sticker just looked like it's brand new ah, nothing like having clean wheels I will get back to this video and I'll put the seat in because I'm gonna go meet up with a friend real quick, grab some food, and then come back. And yeah, and it's, dude, it's so hot today. Oh my god. Wow. It's been a while. It's been a while since it's been this hot. Back home from grabbing lunch and just chatting it up with my friend. Now I'm finally back home and uh, pulled the car back out again. Holy crap. And we're gonna slap in my new Recaro SPG. Well, used. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out my C rail with my whole C. I mean, I am running PCI racing C rails. Oh, yeah, check this out. Well, get rid of that first. The other day, I was at the car wash, rolled up my window all the way, and I broke one of these handles. So, in order for me to roll down the window after I finished washing my car, I had to take off the pin real quick and just swapped it over because I did break one of these. So I need to go to the junkyard and uh, find one. But for now, I mean, let's have one handle, switch it back and forth. 
But anyways, besides that, gotta take off these 12s, four of them, pull the seat out, and then that's where we're gonna start lining up the Recaro. Um, I think the seating position on the Recaro, the Recaro is slightly different. It's not the same as this one, so I might have to keep messing around with the mounting points on this uh, seat rail for the Recaro. So I'm just gonna pull this out. Got both, uh, well, just this out. Now, the body coat looks more like it's more cushioning. It has more padding and it is kind of true. This thing is super comfortable on long drives. Honestly, I've driven to the track for three hours long and driven and raced it. And then uh, three hours back from the track and this seat gives me no back problems. The SVG, very nice seat. Um, we won't know until I actually like go long drives with it. But I'm gonna take out these Allen bolts um, and then put that seat back in around the same spot. And uh, hopefully uh, the seating position is the same, but it's really hard to say. The style of the buckets are similar, but they're slightly different. So I went ahead and just did it all, because I mean, I think I have like two videos of me doing seat installs and stuff. One was on Bernard's car and one was on my car, so you guys just have to go back for those videos. And I will say, it looks so much better with this Recaro in there, because it's black. Having the red, was just, it just popped, and I didn't like it because it didn't go well with the green. Damn. I just had to, uh, I adjusted the seat position. I moved it up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I just need to bolt it down. It's not bolted down right now. I'll just, uh, figure out my seating position. But now, it is good. It looks so much better, though. Wow. Now, I don't know what to do with this. I might just leave in the garage, or I don't know. There's no tears, nothing on it. It just slightly faded right there because of the sun. When I used to uh, drive my car to work, uh, my previous car, you know, just bake in the sun. But besides that, it's still red though. Oh, I'll figure out. If I end up selling it, it'll be posted on my Instagram. But if it's not, then it'll still be here. So what's going on guys? A couple days have passed and i just been pretty much just doing my own thing. Just been lazy. Uh, I haven't really been working on the car and all that. I kind of got to the point where I feel like every single day that I get off, like from work, I just end up making a video for you guys. I have gotten to the point where I I just don't feel like doing it all the time now. As in like, I just want to enjoy my days off sometimes. Cause I mean, I enjoy, I really, really enjoy working on cars and everything. But it does get to the point where I just don't want to. You know, I just want to relax and everything. Especially since I have my own job. And uh, eventually this year I'm planning on quitting my job, going to Japan. Well, quitting my job, then going to Japan. And then when I come back from Japan, I find another job, and that really varies. And besides that, uh, you guys see Mark's recent video, Honda Street Garage. And if you guys want to subscribe to him, check out his channel. If I move it, he bought a used single cam, slapped it in the car, and I think he bought he bought a new clutch and everything for that, a flywheel. Put it in the car, turned it over, and ended up having raw knock. And it sucks because nowadays in the Honda community, you can't really buy used things without like, well, especially motors. You don't know if the motor is actually gonna be good or not. And the only way is by doing a compression test. Even though if the compression is good, you never know if there's anything else wrong with the car or the motor, I mean. So it kind of sucks, you know? Sorry to hear that, but honestly, I've been through phases like that. I did buy a transmission a while back and um, a friend, I actually bought it from a friend of mine and put it in my car and it ended up, and it ended up like charring like crazy, like it's metal screeching. Both of the inner and outer input shaft bearings were shot and then the middle bearing on the single shaft, I don't know what bearing it is called, was shot. And I ended up learning from it. I'm like, man, you can't really take people's word. That's one reason why I decided to pull the transmission out, crack open the case, replace the input shaft bearings myself, and now I know how to do all that. That's actually one reason why I highly recommend people to work on their own cars. Now, I know a lot of people, I get a lot of messages and comments and everything, they're like, yo, I'm glad that you made a video on how to do this. I have the parts laying around, but I haven't done it because I'm just waiting for like a good tutorial. I kind of understand where you guys are coming from with that, but I highly recommend, even though if I don't have, or if nobody has a video of how to do something, it doesn't mean you cannot try to do it yourself. Because if you do it yourself, you learn how to do it, and then in the end, you can show all your friends or other people. The benefits about you working your own car and actually like just going at it, just trying it, is you learn from your mistakes. Now that comes from Mark's video. You learn from your mistakes because I've learned from my mistakes. I ended up being able to fix my mistakes. 
because I'm the one that personally did the install like the ITVs for example when I installed ITVs there's no tutorials online at all how to install them just looking at it it's a regular intake manifold you just have to get injectors you know you just have to run your fuel lines and get a throttle cable that fits and opens your butterflies all the way which I had that issue with and it sucked you know honestly I think that was probably like one of the hardest things to like figure out but in the end, I figured it out. Now, when people ask me, like, you know, what throttle could be used and all that, I have all the information now because I did it myself and I learned how to do it. So you yeah, just can't be scared to work on your own car because if you are scared of working on your own car, then you know when are you ever when are you ever gonna learn? Just to let you guys know, all the videos I film in this, on this channel, there are some videos where it got to a point where it got so hard that I did not even show it in the video because yeah keep in mind this is YouTube this is this is where you make videos and you try to make it easiest for everybody to watch so I actually there are some times where when I'm filming stuff like for example when I did my field lines and everything there are parts where I actually got into like a just like I just got stuck I couldn't figure out what to do you know and then I just like took my time looking at it, trying to figure out what I should do and then and I put in the video just because I do all this stuff makes it look easy in reality most of it it is but when it comes to like doing the in like the ITB and stuff it was not like when I was trying to figure out the throttle cable issue I it took me almost two days to figure out like which throttle could be used like I had to buy new throttle cables and figure it figure it out and all that uh, to make it work you learn from your mistakes you know and you can't really take people's word for granted um, especially buying used motors and stuff unless you buy from like a reputable place like HMO or something or like a really really good friend of yours that you know that you see the motor runs and been beat on or whatever you know like this motor I should buy from a friend but I've seen it running and everything so that's one reason why I took his word and yeah it's just been good ever since survived three dyno tunes and just been driving it everywhere honestly everybody makes mistakes but you can always overcome it don't look down on it look at it as an opportunity for you to learn and um, much expand. I personally at the track I've seen someone's camera kit snap off like in half and that was due to them running an eBay camera kit that's so that's one reason why I tell a lot of people to go with when you go with suspension parts make sure you buy good suspension parts as in like reputable brands and quality and stuff you just don't want to cheap on eBay stuff because I've seen eBay one snap at the track and the whole wheel just goes out once that camera kit snaps your trailer gets fucked and everything like that you know so I've seen and I've learned but uh, yeah today I'm just gonna be <sighs> chilling and um, I still have the seat no one wants to buy it I think because of the size so I think it might just uh, make a custom computer chair or um, yeah I, I honestly don't know thank you very much for almost 20k I think we're 200 away by the time this video uploads so don't sit out there just keep building your car peace out or am I just falling apart? The king's horses and men couldn't mend what is left of my broken heart. And now I finally realize it's what keeps me 